Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am covering the Rachel Marin case. Rachel Marin, she was 37 years old, found dead on the Ma Pa Trail, and whoever did this is still out there. Rachel Marin's boyfriend, Richard Tobin, he actually puts out a few statements on his Facebook page, and I want to share these statements with all of you. Check it out. So this is the public Facebook page of Richard Tobin, the boyfriend of Rachel Moran, and he put out a couple posts on his Facebook page. Right here he puts, please help identify this scumbag, hashtag rip Rachel Moran. And he attached the Hartford County Sheriff's Office uh, post trying to find out who this individual here is that did a home invasion in Los Angeles linked to the murder of his girlfriend, Rachel Moran. He also put out here, I hope they found this scum of the earth, justice for Rachel Rip, love you, Rach. And he posted a Hartford County Sheriff's uh, post about announcing that they are looking for this guy right here. He also made a post, please share and walk for remembering Rachel Marin. If you know Rachel, you know that she was the sweetest, kindest, and very special woman. Come support Rachel, her kids, and family. Thank you. So he has been speaking the last couple days, speaking out. What do you think? So his name is Richard Tobin. He is the boyfriend. He was the boyfriend of Rachel called whoever did this a scumbag i can feel his pain first off many people including myself have speculated at the time that it could have been richard so i can't imagine what he was going through seeing not only he loses his girlfriend but then being blamed for it or people you know speculating that he's involved and, and, and snooping into his life. So I, in a sense, it's probably good for him. It's kind of like a relief that they're looking for someone else and not him and not, you know, authorities at least not focusing on him. He acknowledged that he had a past. A lot of times people get judged for their past. I get judged for my past. I personally reached out to Richard and he responded to me. Well, I'm not going to share what I've said to him, but, you know, yeah, he wants this person, whoever did this, found for sure. And, you know, authorities are looking for a, a man, a Hispanic man, possibly from the Los Angeles area or has Los Angeles ties, who did a home invasion out there in Los Angeles back in March 2023 and made their way to Maryland. How'd they get here? How did he get here? Guy, maybe around 30 years old, kind of built. You saw the photo out there of him exiting a home after he did something inside of home, maybe assaulted a female in there. Who is this guy? And like Richard said, hope they find this scumbag. I don't like to use those type of harsh words, but authorities need to find this guy ASAP. Something tells me he's going to do it again. Something tells me this guy has done it before. Does anyone recognize this guy Sorry, trees. Does anyone recognize this guy right here? If you recognize him, contact authorities immediately. Contact the Hartford County Sheriff's Office. Let's help get this guy off the streets. I'm wishing Richard well. Um, hopefully he understands that in the times when things are fluid and people are looking for suspects, sometimes this happens and people get blamed, but once they identify or arrest the person that did it, um, everything should calm down on his end as far as, you know, people blaming him and whatnot, people most likely will move on and hopefully, uh, he understands that in the moment this happens a lot. It happened with the Moscow, Idaho case with Jack DeCour, uh, Kaylee's uh, boyfriend, um, but it looks like Jack DeCore is doing well. So we will talk soon. JLR investigates. Check out my Rachel Marin playlist. Who is the person that murdered Rachel Marin? I think authorities will find him soon. We'll talk soon.